Hey guys, welcome to our channel Cat Solution. Today we will learn about the sequential ways in Clio software. So this is how our sequential ways is now created. So let's get started with the part modeling. New file, part, solid. Give the appropriate name to the file. I'm giving a ways here. Here part MMNS solid template I'll select. As of now, I have hired the planes and axis here, so let's turn it on. Start with the, I'll start with the front plane. Revolve command. Take a spline and draw outline of that waist like this. Dimension it as per the drawing shown on your screen. 100 here 20 25 Zoom fit the sketch To adjust the sketch in the screen Press shift and middle mouse button to drag here and there Now I need to give the dimension Before giving the diameter to this point Let's take a center line. Now I can give the dimensions this point, this line, and again this point. Click in middle. This is how you can get the diameter. The TML. Repeat the same process for this. This is 90 ml. The height for uh, this first point is 27.5 for the second point is 60 mm now let's close the sketch I'll take a right plane to sketch again. Now uh, I'll hide the axis and planes from here. Take two center lines, one is top side, another another one is at bottom side. I have hide the dimensions as well, so take this option. This would be 5 mm. This is also 5 mm. Take another center line. It would be offset 1.5 mm from center. Now start with the spline command. Start with this point. And in on this point here. Start defining the dimension to the points. So I need to define the dimensions between this point and this point. So as you can see here, I'm not able to select that point. I'll just come nearby, right click near the point and pick from the list. So here I can find the point center line and point 4 so this line point 4 I can select this one and on the top side I'll repeat the same process if it is not getting selected click from the list point 2 this one and click middle mouse button outside this is how you can define the dimensions now again I'm gonna define vertical dimensions for that point click ok up to this line point select control ok 
I will mention the 40 as a reference dimension as shown in sketch. For the first point, this dimension would be 15, this would be 47.5, and this would be 82.5. This dimension would be 30 mm, this is 35 mm, and this is automatically coming out. Dimensions for this one is 5 mm. By the moon from here, five point five mm, and this both feet three mm. Now make the spline normal to the center line. Select this spline, select this center line and this point, click middle mouse button. You can define the angle from here, 90. Repeat the same process at bottom side. Select the spline, the center line and this point, click middle mouse button, define the angle. 90 degrees we have defined. We need to offset this profile by 1 mm. So select this profile and go to offset. Now the offset will be in this direction. So what we can do is we'll define in minus direction. We want it in opposite direction. So I'll define minus one here. Place middle mouse button to exit from command. So this point point distance is maintained from the center. So I need to project this gauge on the surface. So I just select the gauge. Go to project, select the surface, click OK. So our sketch is now here projected on the surface. I'll turn on the and just on a high this plane. I'll just mirror this projected sketch. Mirror around this front plane. Take a plane command, select the Axis select front plane. So I need 10 degrees on this side. So as of now, I will define 350 angle of rotation, which would be 10 degrees from front plane. And I'll mirror this this mirror one sketch along this newly created plane. So our sketch is now created. What I'll do is I'll just remove 5 mm from top side and 5 mm from bottom side. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. So select this, select this surface, go to offset, and select this third option extend feature. I'll mention 5 mm here. Press Ctrl and select bottom face also. Reverse the direction I need to remove the material here now our stage is about this feature so this will help us in the boundary blend command in the boundary blend command your stage should be more than the feature so select boundary blend command select this inner stage and the adjacent stage this you can see here that uh, yellow dots uh, right click on that yellow dot and make it normal uh, again for that another point as well now to increase the stage you can go to constraint, select the first curve here and define stretch value 2. Again select this curves, define stretch value 2. Our stretch is now created. Select this boundary blend surface and go to solidify. Remove material. So I need to remove material from this direction. Simply click OK. So I need to pattern it along the 360 degrees. So before making it pattern, I'll just select this boundary plane and solidify command and create one separate group for this one to pattern it. If we have not done this one, then our pattern command will not work. So now select this group, go to the pattern, select axis pattern. Now select the axis. I need to pattern it in 360 degrees click here and 
number of patterns will be 18 so our first feature is created now so let's go with the another one to create the another feature repeat the same process with this another another curve select boundary blade option select this inner side curve and add the same curve you can make it normal from here also select this one and normal define the surface now you can define stretch value 2 for this one also define surface I'll define 2 here click ok so define command remove material you can select the tool direction from here on which side you need to remove the material so click ok again create a group for this boundary blend command and this solidify to pattern it select this group go to pattern select axis pattern select this axis I need to pattern it all around 360 degrees so take this option and mention here the total numbers I'll mention 18 click OK Here another feature is also created so I'll just uh, hide this sketches previously we have removed 5 mm material from the top side and bottom side so let's add that one again we have removed that material to smoothly boundary blend and solidify that feature so let's add that one select this third option to extend the feature and define 5 mm as we have removed 5 mm from bottom and top side press ctrl and select bottom side click ok define the radius to the top side go to round select this top face and this face define radius 5 mm again define the radius on bottom side repeat the same process round command bottom surface and this surface define the radius 10 mm now to remove the inside material select shell command and the top face and define here 1 mm thickness so this is how our sequential base is now created you can try it on your own if you face any kind of problems do consider to join our telegram channel if you find this video helpful then share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching